guys, it's us family four, and today in this video, we are doing Never Have I Ever, which we are all dreading. <laughs> <laughs> we may uncover some secrets about ourselves, we never know. This is like the, the first time we've ever done Never Have I Ever as a family. Mm. Me, you've done it. Because me and Callum have done it in my channel, and then me, my dad, and my mum have done it in my channel, but we've never done one together as a family. So we're doing it this time on the Family Four channel. This is <laughs> Gonna be scary. <laughs> you scared? You really scared? Lawyers. <laughs> 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 so guys, if you enjoy this video, smash that like button, please. And subscribe. Too <laughs> So guys, each of us is going to take it in turn to say never have I ever, and then finish the sentence, and then each of us have to hold up never, or I have. Mm. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay, so I'll go first. Yeah, you can start. He's ready? Yeah. yeah. He's all ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. You cannot answer back. So, first one. Never have I ever been in the principal's office. Yeah, Callum. What did you say? You've never, never been in the principal's office. No. Oh, never. Yeah. Never. What for? Anything. <laughs> that's, that's, we're wondering what for. What? No. You've never been? No, that's it. Wow. Well, you're gonna have to go first. Well, I have because I haven't been on it for a bad reason. I've just been on, like, who's he invited me into his office to chat about things? I don't know. That's a cheat. How is that a cheat? That's that's truthful. I have been in the principal's office. Yeah. You didn't say, have you ever been in the principal's office for a detention? I wish I had a thought about my answer more carefully now. <laughs> Callum? I had to learn sign language. You had to learn sign language? Um, Why did you have to go into the principal's no, office for, for like, this one day? For this one day? Yeah. So hold on, mum's never been on, you were on because you were invited on, he's gonna have to learn sign language, and I'm on because I done something bad! What this did is you the do? most random what, did you do? what did you do? I was really young, and there was like sliding doors in the classroom, and I was holding the door shut so people couldn't get in, and we were all holding them shut, and we didn't realise the headmaster was outside trying to open them. Oh no! So we could take it down to the office, and then... We get punished. So the old dad is a bad boy. You're a bad boy, daddy. Bold boy. Bold boy. Bold boy. <laughs> bad. I was expecting some not all goodness. These are. Oh, I, I don't think I've ever been on for a bad reason. No. I think I was always a teacher's pet. Uh, oh. No. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever give my dinner to the dog when mom wasn't watching. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Callum, let's spill the tea. Ooh. Disgusting. <laughs> 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 what did you say? No. Uh, you've never. Given baby me dinner. No, even no, when, given I, when I've cooked it. When I've cooked it. Or even given the dog that you had as a child that your mom cooked dinner for. Yes. Oh, maybe they have never uh, Paul cooked. Because Paul can't What? Cook. Hold I on. <laughs> Whoa, the secret's things. coming out. <laughs> well, that's two backfires for me. <laughs> so, what if I have given the dog? I think I gave him chicken. I think chicken chasseur. Oh, you don't like chicken chasseur. So, so I gave the dog, I like slightly give him a bit of chicken. You are delighted with that. You don't like onions. <laughs> no, but I didn't give him the onions, I just gave him the chicken butts. Mm -hmm. Because I don't eat onions anyway, so I just leave the onions on the plate. <laughs> and you're like, oh, good boy, Adam! She still says good boy, and I'm 19. So, just to be clear, this was a, a mum cooked dinner, not a dad cooked dinner that you did this with. To be honest, the dinners you cook are dog worthy. <laughs> They are. <laughs> <laughs> no. I give Bailey my chicken, my carrots, and my broccoli. Kel, that's like a whole dinner. That's terrible. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be watching you know. I'm sorry for my mom. By the way, Kel, who cooked the dinner? Mommy. <laughs> there we are. I'm not cooking them more then. No, I like your dinners, just not chicken chasseur. And my dinners are dog worthy. No, but like. I would eat because they're just playing. <laughs> see, see what I mean? They're just playing. So Bailey could eat them. High five that, Kelsey. <laughs> I have. No, there was this one time you made this new chicken thing and it had like a like a creamy layer thing on it with crusty butts on top of it. Do you remember it? What was it? Oh, I don't know. And I chicken was, and pasta bake. I was, I was all, mmm, this is lovely, you know. mm, uh, and the dog was eating it. Oh, I'm off cooking now. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, my turn to ask the question. Never have I ever cried because I didn't get the gift that I wanted. That could be for Christmas, for birthdays, for anything. What, when you say cry, like do you mean throw a fit or physical tears? Physical tears, like. 
Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Am I a crybaby or what? No. On your own. No, but when I was like, when I was a kid, when I was Callum's age, I think like one time Santa didn't give me what I wanted, and I was like, <laughs> did you actually cry? What was it? I can't remember, but I, I just oh, remember that was, that was last year. <laughs> Guys, what was that? I don't know, but it was like I just remember not getting something that that I wanted. Did you ask Santa for like a puppy years ago or something? I think so, maybe. Yeah, I think it was something stupid like that. Right. Never have I ever lied to make someone feel better. Ooh. What have we got? Full house. Yeah. Full house. Yeah. Oh. Full house. So Adam B orders clothes online. I don't know where he orders them from, but there was these ones called. <laughs> you don't know. Oh yeah, it's Jimmy from Duck Street who ordered them from. ASOS or something, but you ordered these Adidas. And Adele, you might be with me on these. They just look like big fire trucks on the end of his feet. Big clunky looking fire Hold on, let me finish. Big clunky looking fire trucks. And he wears the skinny jeans with them, so he's got like skinny leg, big foot. Skinny leg, big foot. Guys. And he got them and he's all daddy, what do you think? They were like pretty expensive. And I'm all, oh, they're lovely. So I have. Guys, it was actually the Yeezys. You know the Yeezys that I wear? My dad and my mum think they're horrible. But I, I love them. And those other people I love them as well. Think, I don't think they're horrible. But the you do, ones, you do, yeah. ones, It looks ones like there's a big nice. captain on a ship driving them. They don't look like hovercraft. <laughs> That's not fair. One time Adam was there in a thumbnail and I hated that thumbnail. Every thumbnail ever? No, but like I hated the look of it. And I said, aye, it's good just to get away from doing the thumbnail. <laughs> right. Can you remember what the thumbnail yeah. was? Aye. What? When I pranked his room. Well, at least he's honest now. <laughs> yeah, thanks for telling me, <laughs> Okay, what was yours? I have, and it was <laughs> Mom's Stunner. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, there's, like, mm, there's a pattern here. Mm, mm, this is really nice. Mm. And then I gave it to Bailey. <laughs> That's like a two in one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a takeaway boy. Takeaway boy. Yeah, yes. I love my Domino's, McDonald's, Subway's. Uh, Subway and McDonald's are my two favorites. Yeah. Burger King's actually pretty nice as well, I like Burger King. Yeah, I know I have a... So we dealt, what was yours? I have Paul booked a holiday, which was his last holiday he booked. <laughs> Do you mind, Adam? Do I mind? Yes, uh, I mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good few years ago now. It was 2012, I remember it, and I've never I've never loved it down no. since. It wasn't a great... It was a nice hotel, but like the rooms were just not great not at all. Great. But hold on, the question was, have you ever lied to make someone feel better? He didn't I, actually lie, you like, Paul, this is crap. No, no, we don't, we don't, we don't lie for the first day. And then, we is actually demoted now from... Ever book booking a holiday. holiday? Ever. And your mum are now bookers of the holidays. You guys ready? Yes. Never have I ever sent a message to the wrong person. That can be email, it can be text, it can be whatever you want. All of us. Full house. Have done. Woohoo. Gal, go you first. It's not even bad. Right? I was meant to send it to the Adam, but instead I sent it to the whole group. Oh, our whole family group? Ah. Oh, right. The family group chat. And what was it? Is that the time you says daddy smells like farts? No. <laughs> what, what time is it? Oh <laughs> <laughs> wow! Okay, Lansky, what was yours? I think it was, I've said I've done it loads of times. Like this happened to me so many times, and I think the most memorable one is whenever I think I sent a text to one of my teachers. Why I have my teacher's phone number? It's because, because you're a teacher's pet. <laughs> Shut up! I had it because we were like organizing like an event, and we needed like to text each other. But basically, I was I was supposed to send a text message to my friend, but I ended up texting it to a teacher, and then I had a reply straight away. But hey, say it. Oops, wrong person. Sorry, and it <coughs> was a bit awkward. What? What that. was the sentence? Yeah, and then we're all wanting to know. Uh, what was it? No, you're out of school, so you can say it. Uh, I was basically not making fun, but of the teacher. I wasn't making fun of the teacher, but I was just like explaining my thoughts about the teacher to my friend, but I didn't send it to my friend, I sent it to my teacher. And I think from that point on, I was no longer the teacher's pet. Aww. So it sounds like you were slagging That's off the teacher. Then. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go next. I was sending a, a nice wee text to my wife, a wee lovely wee text, <coughs> a wee romantic, I don't know why, because you, you text, I guess, a wee private text, like a wee romantic text. Give me a bucket. You sent it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I sent it to my friend, and Instead. Probably everybody's done that, but then I never loved it down because my friends used to give me stuff. But you used to have oh, actually, you used to have actually sent text to me accidentally. I know, I always do. And always. the text would actually make you sick. It's like, <laughs> I love you, Edel. I love you, Paul. <laughs> how, do you know, how do you know we're not doing it just to wind you up? Uh, because it, after, it's straight away, it's like, oops, wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> so what was yours? I have. I have. <laughs> I have! <laughs> it was in the airplane back from Thailand. Oh, I know this. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. Why? The plane haven't even talked. Oh, oh my god, I remember you this. You could text 
on the, the wee TV. Like CDC um, text. CDC text. So I text Callum, hi, how are you? But he was in the seat. He was in the different seat, so basically my mum. She's got her own one by one room. She, she was... No, the seat in front of me. Received the text. But he was, he was like snoring, and then he woke up because I went around, ding! <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I peeked over and I was like, and this fish was like... <laughs> <laughs> and he thought the lady in 32C was trying to chat him up. <laughs> and then mommy tried to, mommy tried to explain, oh, I'm sorry, and he done it, and he went like, what? And then mommy said, sorry, and she started. <laughs> oh, he's exposing and bullying so, you. You gotta love. You get this say? <laughs> you gotta love it else. He doesn't stay on an airplane seat. <laughs> someone over there. I said, oh God, I've never seen this before. <laughs> she just went on this. All right, Callum, your turn to ask the question. Ah, uh, right. Never have I ever told a lie to get out of trouble. Oh, um, you'll be lying. You're lying. Oh, but you're in the principal's office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you switched it. He you switched. switched. Oh, he switched, guys. I, I, I have probably several times. I'm just trying to think of the exact one no one can tell. Is okay, will I go first? Yeah. Okay, so guys, I have, and um, I've actually used my little brother in this. And it's basically whenever I made a mess in the house and I blamed it on Kel, even when he was like young, like maybe two or three, and he couldn't really talk. <laughs> <laughs> so I just blamed everything on him. <laughs> that was really bad. I don't know what's a son. <laughs> <laughs> right, Kel. I kicked my friend's bike and then I accidentally broke something on it, but then I said it wasn't me, and then it was easy to put back on. Oh. oh so you fixed it. Mm, good recovery, then. <laughs> Uh, yep, I have probably when I was still living with my parents at home. Okay. Staying out a bit later than I should have. Really a lot later than I should have. Really, 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 Oh, you mean? Yeah. Oh. And your son gets invited in the principal's office. <laughs> Where, is, am I ever going to hear the end of this? <laughs> how did they ever, I don't know, like, what lesson did you teach him? How did it become so good? There's me, not doing my homework. <laughs> Rebel. Okay, guys, my turn to ask the question. Uh, never have I ever done something really embarrassing. Me? I have, we all I have. Oh. Everybody yeah. I have. Yeah. Okay, I have. What was yours? Go on, tell them first, what was yours? There was a ball behind the teacher, and I would try to like scoop it up behind her, and then I accidentally kicked her and almost like, because I kneecapped her and she, she left went down. Oh. You so yeah, we're on, we're like, like, we're a family. <laughs> Mommy's like, not doing homework, you're kicking teachers, and he goes into the principal's office. <laughs> <laughs> what was yours? Um, appearing in your channel. That hit me in the face. <laughs> the face. Seriously? No, I'm only joking. Oh, you better be. I'm only joking. One time I had to go to a birthday party for young kids and my friend and I had to dress up as Teletubbies and they were just crap costumes. When and was I, this? Where was this? This was like, I think it was even before you were born. Right. Oh, and we're at the party and the kids all just ended up beating us up and then pulling the hat off and they could see who we were. It was just, it was just embarrassing because it wasn't even funny then. Who's it was just friend? two adults beating up the kids in a sweaty Teletubby. Oh, so, do you, you, still, you still dress up as that Teletubby no, on Friday nights? I don't. It's <laughs> his favourite costume. But it was one of those ones where you wanted to leave the house but it took a really long time to leave so it was like, it's just totally oh, embarrassing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we deal. Do uh, tell. <laughs> you have? I have. Right, it was eight. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I let's, used, let's do this. Right! <laughs> I used to work at a clothes shop years ago and I slept on for work. So I got to work and I'd on a coat to my knee and tights and I took off my coat and I forgot to put my skirt on. No, we don't know. So I just took oh. my top and my tights and my coat. Hold on, what? what? So you, you went out in public with no skirt? Uh, it was a long coat to my knee. So I slept and I was rushing to get ready and I forgot to put my skirt on. We're starting to sound like a family of muscles. No, we're uh, we are. We, we might as well rename this channel. Oh, 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 way up. So you can see your pants in? <laughs> <laughs> they don't wear a skirt, Kill. You know, it's like. Scared. Not right. Oh. But you know, you give me an idea about one other thing that I done is a good one. I was walking on the work one morning and I looked down at my feet and as I was walking I could see shoe trainer, shoe 
trainer and put on two different shoes to go no, to work. Uh, no, 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 you put on you, two pairs of shoes, the same, a pair of black and a pair of white. No, no, one was a Velcro, Velcro. Puma slipper oh, and the other one was a Tie Velcro. brown right. shoe. Yeah. So yeah. they were different colours. I had a tie one and Velcro, they, uh, I don't know. Can I move out? Can I like, leave this family? We are a family of misfits. <laughs> well, you asked. <laughs> okay, well, it's your turn to ask another question. Have you ever... Bought flowers? <laughs> Flyers! Okay, go with them. <laughs> Never have I ever. <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> Never have yeah. I ever. Yeah, look at that butt. Big stop. <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> Okay. Never have ever been stopped. Been yep. stopped. Yeah, I there. have. I have. I've been stopped. <laughs> and they're chanting away. And they're chanting away. <laughs> I think what we got there was never have I ever spoke to someone and forgot their name when talking to them. There we go. Thanks, Molly. <laughs> Guys, you should play along at home. Tell us down in the comments below because we actually have comments in this channel for now. Yeah. If you Probably have or have not done some of these things that we have done or not. Okay, so this is a full house of my hands. Yes. I have. Yep. Go on, Adele. Give us a go. You might as well start. Oh, I don't know this. You were with me. What, what, what one? One of them. I gave her in a shop up the toy and she stopped and she was chatting away and asked oh, yeah. about Adam I remember this. and Callum and I had no clue of her name. Did you ever find out her name? No. You still don't know to this day still who she was? Know. Do you well, know who she is? Hey. Do you know who she is? Aye, I know her from years ago. Know her face, don't know her name. Don't know her name. But do you know what? Maybe she's watching this and she can put her name in the comments. Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, but the comments are disabled, huh? <laughs> no, not this channel. Hey! Hey. Well, I have as well. Um, I think it was. I think it was people from school, not my year group. To like, not my year group, but like people who might have been like above me in my year group or below me, like a well, year like, above or like a year principal. Below. That's it. Now go keep going. And basically, like I see them in public, and I'm like, hey, what's up? What's what's happening? And like mm -hmm. you keep saying, how are you? Like you know, just ask, making. So you're basically avoiding their name at all costs, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because if they turned around and asked me. What's my name? I would I would want the ground to open up and swallow me up. I That's me dead. It's so embarrassing. Isn't it? Yes, it's so embarrassing. Okay, so I have a couple, but the worst one was I was at university for four years, and after two years, a guy in my class called John decided to tell me his name wasn't John; it was Niall, and he just let me away with it for two years until I fell. Oh no! And I was like, what type of university what? did you go to? I was like, John is all. I, look, I don't know how to tell you this, but my name's Niall. And I was like, two years, really? It took um, two years two to tell years me. Years to tell you. But then I met an R guy out of work one time. I didn't know he's out of my work, but I forgot. You, like you said, do you ever think of fifty different ways to say Hi. all right, uh, up, yes. up, right? Nice seeing you. Okay, hi, person, sir. <laughs> yes. Totally uh, embarrassing because uh, he he knew me and I did not know who uh, he was. Yeah. So embarrassing. Uh huh. What did you hold up? I have. Uh, Okay, who have you forgot the name of? No, there was this day boy in my class and then he came up to me and said, do you want to play a game? And I went like, uh, aye. And then, <laughs> and then he didn't, he, he knew that I didn't know his name. So he went up to me one day and said, do you even know my name? And I said, aye. And he said, what? And then I made up a, a, a name. <laughs> and then told it to him. And then he just walked away. <laughs> So Cal basically lost a friend that day. Oh Cal. Oh, oh my Your god. Your stories are getting better. So guys, for the last and final round, who wants to ask the question? Me. Okay. Oh, okay. Fair enough, you can ask it. I never have I ever got involved in an emergency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good try Cal. Good try. <laughs> Never have I ever been involved in an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get it, we get it. Never have I ever been in an emergency, okay. Uh, emergency? I don't think I have. I have? Yeah, I, I, I don't think I have. I'm so bored, my life is so bored. Maybe it was the time the principal didn't invite you to his office. I'm leaving, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> emergency, Callum, go you first with your emergency story. It's like six in the morning, right? And then I couldn't breathe. I was like, <gasps> That's right. It was very scary. Oh, we remember that. Scary. And he came on to us in the middle of the night and he uh, couldn't breathe. He was like, <gasps> <gasps> And we had to get him to the hospital as fast as possible. And that was scary. And it was an so emergency. Yeah, it, it was. was. What is it? It's a what? A murder. <laughs> Right, mine's was when me and Paul were staying in a hotel and 
the fire alarm went off in the fine. middle of the night and the hotel had to be evacuated for what was it like an hour yes. and a half, Ooh. two hours? Really? So yeah, so that that was actually mine as well. Ooh, was it was it? probably the only emergency we really had been on. Yeah. yeah, we got a knock on the door at 3 a.m. to say there was a fire. Okay. When we got out of the room, you could smell the, the fire. Oh my god! But the funny thing was. <laughs> Edel ran straight to the left. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no! She ran right past the sign that says, do not use in the event of a fire. Straight to the left. That's something you would do as well. <laughs> quick, quick, let's get to the left. The fire might be in the left. You know? <laughs> so we were outside a room for like four or five hours all night and then you could actually smell the smoke and the guys were covered in black suit, they were fighting the fire. It was really? Up, it was, it was that bad? It was in the laundry room, yep, fire brigade came. I and, fire get oh down. Oh my god. So, yep. bad, eh? so that was our emergency. So did you just have to wake like out of your sleep? Yep. No. Then get back, Andy, like nine the next morning. Yeah, three. Did you have like pajamas to wear or did you have to like... Yeah, what were you wearing? Well, do you know what? There's another funny story because in this particular trip to... Why am I telling this story? In this particular trip to hotel, I had forgotten the clothes. That was the laugh. Moi, oh, wow. Moi I was having a laugh, I forgot to bring the suitcase. Yeah, so I had one t-shirt. We were staying one night. And during that night, I had spilled gravy all down my t-shirt. So when the fire knock came, I had to put all my clothes in and I went, oh, big stain. So I had to... <laughs> we stayed when the fire was burning, and then Adele runs under the loft and we just <laughs> <laughs> again fall in my So guys, that was this Fallen Four Never Have Ever Challenge. I don't know if I'm glad I've done this video or if I just prove to the internet that my family is such a weird That's family. Nice. We found out that you love the head teacher. We found out that Adele likes to attack strangers on a plane. We found out that I take one pair of clothes to a hotel for one night. Uh, Absolute uh, grief. We found out that Callum's just a magnet for all sorts of things to happen. Things to happen. <laughs> So guys, that's been us. Family, Family. four, Yay. Uber, and, and out. out.